Well, it's a lovely way to start a Sunday morning. I get a an email out of uh, uh, a fellow injured uh, worker, the spouse of an injured worker, and she's telling me that I uh, I, I I mustn't uh, uh, start a confrontation with injured workers over this petition. I'd like to ask why not. She goes on to tell me that the reason why she had doubts about uh, signing the petition was because it included the Americans and our government would never pay attention to it. Well, let me clue you in. They're not going to pay attention to it anyways. They never were. They never would. The petition, if I got enough signatures on it, would go before the United Nations. But our system was developed from the American system. And I don't draw any borders when it comes to injured workers because, and, and think about this, you self-centered people. An injured worker across the border, he goes hungry just like an injured worker does in Canada. He's being screwed just like an injured worker in Canada. And I noticed that the CIWS has uh, American stories up on their sites, and I believe Pete does too, Pete Clare. But you don't want to include the Americans, and that makes a good excuse for use, use people not to sign the petition. I don't care what you want to sign. You know, I, could, I couldn't be more disgusted with injured workers than I am right now. Actually, I feel worse about the injured workers than I do about the WCB because I can understand them. I can understand why they're doing what they're doing, but I can't understand the injured workers. Uh, except most of them are petty, self-centered, and they only care about themselves. And they're they're not looking, like I said in my uh, email back to her, that they're not looking for uh, an avenue in which to fight their case. They're looking for somebody to fight their case for them. Uh, the, ho the whole thing is, it's just to show that we're united across this country and the country next door. Because that's where most of our deals are coming from, is next door. Most of you people, you're, you're too, Canadians are too stupid to realize that. We're bought and paid for by the Americans, whether you like it or not. I mean, you see an American on the news and right away the Canadian, he's up and armed and, ah, goddamn Americans, sons of bitches. That's the American government. They're no different than the Canadian government, just bigger. They have injured workers there and poor people that are struggling to survive just like here. And I get sick of this petty bullshit about how everybody's down on the Americans. Take a look at yourself, Canada and Canadians. Take a look at the bullshit that's coming out of your country and your province. And then you start talking about the Americans. I don't mind including the Americans in, 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 in my letter. I just recently sent a letter to Ralph Nader asking him to be, become involved in the injured worker cause in this country because he's a brilliant man. He'd make a hell of a good addition uh, to any fight. But because, and a better, I get, I, I love this. There must be a better recourse than the courts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there is. You can sit at home and cry and bitch and moan because the WCB has all the power and they won't adjudicate your case properly. And yes, they do only take the parts of the act that they find convenient at the moment and use them against you and not for you. <laughs> That's the way. Wake up. <laughs> You're, you're fighting an animal that doesn't care. It doesn't care if it destroys you or your family. You keep looking for absolution, and there is none. You either fight and win, or lose and die, or move on. That's what you do. That's the choice you got. There is no other choice. You don't like me being confrontational? Well, that's fine. I don't care. Because... The other method hasn't worked. <laughs> By being nice, 
Nobody reads your sites. Nobody goes on to your sites. Nobody gives a good flying hoop about what you're doing. But when you become confrontational and get in their face, then people sit up and start to take notice. They don't take notice of whining snivelers and, 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 and if you're on your knees. They don't, they don't pay attention to people like that. You're not worth noticing. You have to stand up and do something. Demonstrate. Get into their faces. I, in, in this respect, I, I used to agree with Christine Forbes. Go down and make movies out in front of the WCB office and that kind of stuff. And Wayne Cody had the same idea. Those are good ideas because that's getting your face out there and letting the public know what's going on. Because the majority of the public doesn't know what's going on. They don't know. And they don't care because they're more concerned with earning a living. And it doesn't concern them until they are injured. And then all of a sudden they become one of the whining, sniveling multitude that wants somebody to fight for them. But they don't want to take any 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 risk. Now, if you don't like my YouTubes, that's fine. I don't care. Pete's more than welcome to take my stuff off his site anytime he feels like it. I got no problem with that. If you want your name off the petitions, I'll take that off. I just got no I don't need to ally myself with whiners. I want to be, ally myself with an army of people that says enough's enough we're not going to put up with this anymore we're going to do something about it because it's quite obvious I've been to the and and you yourself say that you got letters back from the government you think I haven't I've done that long before you did I got letters from Carol James I got Ch Carol James herself I got letters from Harper's office I got uh, uh, letters from the guy before him and and, and, and all over the country so don't don't tell me about what should be done cuz I know what should be done. The injured workers of this country should get together as one united body and say we are going to shut this country down unless you change this. That's what should happen here. But you have to draw the attention to a, a body outside this country because the governments are corrupt. They won't change anything. It's not in their best interest to change anything. But if you get outside people looking in, they will because they'll be embarrassed. Then they'll change it. But anyways, that's enough for this one.